Hi, my name is Atrock, and I've been using Blender for three hours. Hi, my name is Steven, and I've been learning Blender for three weeks. My name's Timo, and I've been a professional 3D artist for three years. We worked on The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, I worked on Obi-Wan, most of the new Star Wars shows. If you want to find me, you can look in the credits, and I'm in there somewhere. And today, 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 we each have three hours to model one of video games' most iconic guns, the Glock 19. Who remembers the command to extrude? Oh, E. <laughs> Easy. Uh-oh, this is the barrel of the gun. Now, wait. <laughs> Done. Okay, I have to create this. Already, I'm not seeing that much of a difference. <laughs> 187 millimeters by 128. So now we have an accurately sized gun. I have only followed tutorials, which means this is my first time modeling without any guidance. If you don't do the base right, the whole thing's gonna turn out weird. First thing I gotta do is I'm gonna block out this gun, move it up. Boom, move this down, move this in, make sure these are lining up all right. I'm gonna refine it a bit later. Right now I just wanna get the shape down. I'm gonna do a single extrude, grab it and move it. Start to align them to the shape. Manually moving stuff, moving, moving. That looks good. But again, we're blocking right now, so we're not gonna worry about this. All this is gonna to go to the trash later anyways. It's literally just there as a reference for us to build around. In VFX, you, you often get a block out from the people that send you the shots. Like they'll take scans of what they're making on set, and then you just get to uh, duplicate that, and you can just build around the shape, which is like, coming up with your own idea sounds like a blast, but is really difficult. I am curious to see how far he's gotten thus far. Dude, I'm cooking! Dude, look at this, it's coming together in an insane way. Okay, so I, I know if I hit rotate, right? And then I hit um, X, I can rotate along the X axis. And if I hit Y, I can rotate it on the Y axis. Save incremental. Okay, perfect. We have a very, very basic model of our gun. Okay, that seems like a fine blocking. Okay, do you think I should scrap this or do you think we've already on such a good spot it would be crazy to restart? All right, we're gonna restart with better knowledge. This will be the pistol base. It needs to go up this face and we're gonna move it forward. Yes, yes. Extrude, grab it, rotate it, extrude, scale it. And I'm just gonna grab them and move them. Edge loops, please work. Yes, it worked. Oh, look at that. We got a gun. We are going to start with the top part. So I'm gonna build this little piece here. Something like this, you have a lot of points. Uh, you only want four, otherwise it smooths awfully. Look at that, that is awful. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. Subdivision scares me. I don't understand it. I'm going to move on to the top bit. And this goes a little bit over the back. Looks done. <laughs> this is good. It's the cyber truck of pistols. <laughs> I am just like billionaire Elon Musk in terms of design. This I learned from a tutorial about 12 hours ago. Right click, loop tools, add a circle. That's not right. Okay. Bring this in. I'm gonna circularize, scale that inwards. Boom, boom. Bring that out, scale this in. Perfect. Loop tools, circle, okay. Let's try one more time. Loop tools, circle, loop, circle. I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. Can't be worse than Atrioc, that's for sure. <laughs> We have a circle. This was the hardest thing in all the tutorials. I can't believe I did it. Okay. Where did it go wrong, dude? Where did it go wrong? Cause it was actually looking really good. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. From the tutorials, I remember clamp overlap. Uh, I'm gonna add these lines. Let's do this. Boom, delete these. If I did it here, that would be fine. And look, I'm gonna make quads. I'm gonna reduce the topology slightly so that it's not so dense, uh, the model be lighter in the end. You just gotta make these optimizations all the time. Oh, that's bad. I'm just gonna duplicate this. All right. 
bridge. Boom. Perfect. Hide the image. Did that work? That totally worked. Ha 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 ha! Subdivide. Ooh, look at that, baby. Look at that geometry. Look at that topology. Mwah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I need to subdivide again. That's what I need to do. I need to subdivide and then subdivide again and then real pro subdivide again. <laughs> Make this nice and even. I'm gonna mesh this a little bit. Circularize. Boom. It'll be so dark, nobody will see that far. And it only comes out slightly, and the bevel on this is tiny. Boom. Because I like the details, okay? Give me a big trig. How do I bend it like Beckham? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna bevel this. Then I'm gonna mesh this for a sec. Uh, add some here. This just helps the mesh not contract too much. Okay, next piece. I'm gonna add an edge here. This should be good bevel. And this should give me the shape I want. There's a little cutout here as well. So I need a round cube for that. Scale it down, grab this. This one first, this one, difference. That looks fucking good. Look at this, this is, we, got, we got a Glock. Oh wait, every step of the way I bend it a little bit. Can I be honest, like that looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like something pretty simple. Bring that in. Um, look at that, guys. Difference? Hey, look at that. Shade smooth. What does that mean? Shade smooth. Yeah, I love it when guns look like <laughs> like they're made out of jello. No, but I can't design it like this. It's gotta be flat. Okay. I need to add more details. Booble tool all day, baby. Just gonna grab it, grab this. Classic booble tool. What else is on a Glock? <sighs> Texture paint. Now I did not learn this. <laughs> ha! Uh, oh, yes. The Giga Chat gun? Oh, no, who's laughing now? Uh, all I know is there is a way for me to do what I want to do, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Add it to the shader color node. Oh, of course. I'll just add it to the shader color node. Uh, uh, press A, then F, trust. <laughs> we want to get the grip tape, uh, and then I can just go boom. What did you do to my gun? Edge loops. Move you down, move you down, down. Bring this down, bring this down. Oh, look at that. It's not gonna win me the contest, I can tell you that. I can tell you that. I'm no expert. God damn, that's cool looking though, huh? It almost says something about society. Uh, uh, a hole for the bullets, right. Oh, I'm gonna do one more. Please, Bull Gods, does it work? And it does. This is just, you subdivide it, subdivide it again, subdivide it again, subdivide it again and then delete faces. That's looking good. Focus. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. That looks nice. Subdivide, 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 subdivide. subdivide. <laughs> like a little dot right up here. And it goes up now. Subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. subdivide. This is my gun. It's good enough. We're gonna have to go with this. Uh, that's unfortunate. I want to do a little more. Check it out, baby. Now that's a gun. Time to texture. Let's do a quick UV. We're gonna smooth a couple times, just for the bake. 400K, not even that bad. UV editing. Uh, smart UV project, perfect. Let's go substance painter. Looking phenomenal. Now, texture paint. No. We're gonna start with a gunmetal on everything. That's gonna give us our base. Texture paint, A, image, shading panel. Oh, I get it. Dry planner, three, select this. What? Rubber, gold, plastic 12, plastic three, plastic four. Here we go, adds everything for us. That's gold, that's not metal. It's not a very shiny metal. That is crazy bumpy. Turn down the scale, 0 0.01, 0, 0, 0.01. 
5, 10, 15, and maybe 20. Gradient. Boom. Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. Back to shading. Oh. Back to edit mode. Texture paint. Object mode. Texture paint. Select this. Dude, if you tell me to do this one more time, I'm going to freak out. To assign this gold, I didn't UV unwrap. Smart UV project. Then look at that. Object. Edit. Click A. I'm selecting it. I don't know what I pressed, bro. All I know is this should be easy. Like, I've done this before. I've done the painting part. Take a look. Our intensity and move the height up slightly. And what's that gonna do is make my hand grips slightly pop out. Let's add texture. Yes. Texture paint. Okay, it's unwrapped. Texture paint. Yes! 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 Here we go. Change my rotation to scale. Color ramp, I think. Honestly, dude, that's not bad. What if it's got like a red streak? <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The front all black, right? And the trigger too. Elon. Oh, I'll put a nice X on it. <laughs> yeah. Wicked. Boom. Boom. That'll do. Now. Sweet. Looks good. Let's get the text. Invert. Great. Dissolve faces. Wait, is that gonna f with the texture paint? Ah, oh, shit, it's way better. <laughs> I want the screws to be like shiny ass metal. Again, black metal, black metal. Does that work? I mean, kinda, yeah. Get rid of these edges. Boom. Look. Oh yeah, that looks good. Well, damn, that looks f good. <laughs>
Plus my smooth edges are back. 95% and done. That is just good. That is just good. That is just good. Looks good. Introducing the cyber gun. I'll be taking right. no questions. <laughs> Let's talk about the egregious amount of bloom. Okay, like, well. did people have to look at that for two and a half hours? No, they didn't because I didn't figure out how to do bloom until the last 10 minutes. It's still so jokes on you, bucko. I also like how we can see the edges. It's a good, it's good to show off your modeling. I didn't know how to paint the gun in texture. I didn't know how to do that. I forgot. That was the one thing I showed you. We yeah, met and I, I literally I showed you I how to extrude and how to paint. <laughs> and you were like, I don't need to know anything I said, else, I only brother. need the first half, bro. I only need <laughs> to be extrude. You can already see there's definitely some stuff that's missing. Bloom, <laughs> it's missing bloom. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple, a couple artifacts around the holes and such. I think this texture, some of the textures look good, but they look fake. Also, your trigger is fat. Yeah. <laughs> These aren't a part of the gun. Like I had to do like a bunch of like- Oh, they're called different Boolean objects. Operations. Yeah. <laughs> Boolean's <Yeah>. bad. <laughs> this could not be a good gun model for a game, but it gets the job done. Well, let's go to the pro. Timo, what did you create in the last three hours? <laughs> this bad boy right here. God damn. Whoa, it's on a camo. Got a little gun. So do you do you just grab a surface, subdivide, and then start putting all those into place? Is that and where does the bloom come in? <laughs> you know, the bloom? Like, there there is slight bloom. Yeah, very, obviously. Very light. And I noticed the lack <laughs> of bloom on yours is though, and clearly us two have figured out something about bloom. Yeah, oh, look at that grip back end. You didn't even see yeah, that. Yeah, the grip wow. in the oh, it's sick. It could have been nicer, but you know, short on time. Always making sure to keep nice quads everywhere. That is important. You know, you don't want end guns. Most game engines won't handle them. Yeah, it's got the little double trigger. I'd probably add the whole thing. Yeah, it's not it's not fat enough for my liking, but yeah. uh, like, <laughs> I'll take it. Turns out that the uh, skill levels aligned very closely to the results. <laughs> to wrap up the video, Timo helped put together these animations to show the progression of each gun model. And honestly, I think Atrioc crushed it. My first Splendor experience was just as slow and just as painful. Lastly, Huge shout out to Timo for taking the time to school both of us and show us how it's done. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>